Good morning. Good morning. What's going on, you beautiful people? 314 a.m. I am on my way to the gym right now. Finished getting ready. Lately, you know, I, I work out a lot. I've lost a lot of weight. My pant sizes went down. My weight's down to about 219. I'm running faster. Um, um, I'm feeling more energetic. Like there's just a bunch of upsides to what's going on. There's a bunch of upsides to what's going on with me working out and exercising and eating right. But in the back of my mind, in the back of my mind, I feel a sense of entitlement. And the sense of entitlement is coming in the form of what I eat. And sometimes when I will cheat, um, it's not intentional. It's by accident. It's, um, it's simply because I justify in my mind I tell myself, hey, man, you've been working out. You're losing weight. And guess what? You're going to run another couple miles and you'll burn these calories. So go ahead and treat yourself. And yesterday I had this ice cream. I went to McDonald's and I got the uh, I got a hot fudge. I got a hot fudge ice cream. Not, not a big one, like one of the little regular size ones. And I was like, man, you had a good workout. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You did all that. Go ahead and get it. And I got to tell you something. As much as it tasted good, there was no nutritional value. And it ended up actually hurting my energy level. Then I had a piece of chocolate. Because, you know, it's getting close to Valentine's Day, so you indulge. And then you justify it. Man, you've been working out really hard. Now, I, still feel, I still feel the soreness from my workouts, which is good. That means I'm, I'm, that means I'm growing new stuff. But you justify it. How many times are we justifying our bad habits? How many times are we justifying doing the wrong thing? And, you know, I could see if I said, well, you know, Friday is cheat day. No, I'm a huge believer that you should celebrate at every victory. Now I woke up when I said I would. Celebrate. Made it to the gym. Celebrate. But even I have to be conscious about what I'm celebrating, how I'm celebrating. You know, maybe... Well, you just worked out really good. How about go buy yourself a new workout outfit or a shirt or hey, you know, up the up the reward. But don't up the excuse. And I think a lot of people go through that. I think a lot of people justify their bad behavior behind something good they did. Not like the man that cheats on his wife. Hey, it was just one time. I take care of everything. It's just one time. Uh, these are conversations you have to have with yourself. If you don't have a support system, it's a conversation you have to have with yourself. And it's rough. That's why they say you, you, you have to be around people who will push you. You 
can't be the smartest one in the room. You need to get a bigger room. <laughs> More people. People who will motivate you. I used to have a coach and my coach and I had accountability partners. I had accountability partners. People that I would have to check in with. Tell them whether or not I did what I said I would do. I held to my end of it. Right? You got to have accountability. The thing about me is I have a strong level of accountability, self-accountability. To look dead in the mirror and say, You justifying that BS? You justifying that bad behavior? And to have enough inside of myself to say, Not only are you justifying that bad behavior. But it's, it's hurting you. Don't ever do nothing to hurt yourself. Don't ever do anything that's going to undo all the hard work that you've done. And you can do that. You can simply get on course to make sure that never happens. But just having real conversations with yourself. Real accountability. Like, hey, did you really work out hard enough to like eat that ice cream? Or did you work out hard enough to go reward yourself? Discipline. I've never met anybody who had excessive amounts of success that did not have a high level of self-discipline. To be able to identify the excuses that they're telling themselves. If you want to make it, then you have to cut out giving yourself excuses on areas to come up short in your life. Period, hands down. 